don't know if you saw, but briefly, the Vatican um, said that they would fire any of one on their staff in Vatican City that would not receive the COVID-19 vaccination. Now, there are a lot of a lot of different reasons why people do not want to take the COVID-19 vaccine. Um, I have no interest in touching it until I have two and five year safety studies. That is a completely fair, completely logical request that up until 2020 would have been fully understandable for a new technology that even the most um, sold out of the promoters of these vaccines has to admit there are questions about autoimmune diseases, ADE, and other issues with these vaccines that will not be decided in a matter of weeks or even a matter of months, but will only be decided over years. There are questions concerning fertility. There's a lot of questions about fertility, period, these days. I don't know if you saw that article that came out recently that basically documented men aren't nearly as virile as they used to be. Um, I mean, we're talking reproductive problems in the future, big time reproductive problems. And there's various theories everywhere from the horrible kinds of plastics that we're constantly exposed to, uh, to the fact that we sit around too much. Um, and, uh, all sorts of issues along those lines. That's, that's a whole other issue that I'm not interested in getting into, but it's, a little, little on the uh, scary side. But there are questions about the impact of the COVID-19 vaccine on fertility. And so uh, pregnant women aren't supposed to take it. And if you're thinking about getting pregnant, you're not supposed to take it. All that kind of stuff. But the Karen cult doesn't care. I mean, the Karen cult is, is Big Brother's little wild-eyed crazy people who are just glued to MSNBC for 23 hours out of the day and are just watching that number just go up and up and up and the whole world's going to die and it's going to get me too. And so they don't care about issues like longevity or stuff like that. It's just deliver me now. And I'll keep wearing triple masks uh, until triple masks forever. Uh, that's right. We only have nine years left anyways, uh, according to, to Carrie. So uh, and, and they're undoubtedly connected somehow. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot, of, a lot of people think that they are. Anyway, thankfully, uh, the Vatican walked that policy back within a matter of hours uh, because people came unglued, appropriately so. And they walked that one back. But it's very obvious where Francis stands on all that kind of stuff. And uh, I'm glad to see that they dumped that. And I took a screenshot of an email that I received. Like I said, I still have my flight status. I will for a few more months anyways, um, from all the flying I did in 2019 and years before that, uh, which I'll never get to use anymore. I need to find some way of doing something with those miles because uh, I've got enough of them, but uh, I'll never get to use them again. So anyway, but they uh, sent me as the top a top tier flyer with American Airlines, uh, check and complete trip requirements. Download the Mobile Health Passport app Verify to check for destination travel requirements. Use Let's Get Checked at home testing or visit your local clinic if testing is required. Upload your travel and health documents to Verify for clearance to fly. I think it was March of last year that I went, oh man, my life has changed. And I said, they're going to, they're going to have, 
they're going to have COVID-19 passports. They're going to have vaccination passports. Yep. There it is. There it is. It's, um, it's sad.